सर इन फैक्ट इन लक्षद्वीप प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनर्जी एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑलवेज इज ए बिग टास्क एंड वेरी चैलेंजिंग जॉब एंड यू मे बी अवर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी लक्षद्वीप इज डूइंग ए चैलेंजिंग जॉब ऑलवेज सो इन यूर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वॉट आर द एडिशनल इनिशिएटिव वी कैन टेक टू रिड्यूस द कंसेप्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन in the today's program also i told that it's a very important fact that the cost of electricity at the lakshadweep is very high means okay. it's always 45 rupees per unit so whatever we are saving here it will be very big impact it is ultimately reducing the government grant as well as the consumers uh, tariff so the energy saving measures or demand side ma- management measures like going for energy efficient fans that is a new technology called bldc energy efficient air conditioner five star acs then energy efficient uh, tube light that is led tube light these are very important measures and i think they will be going to be contribute significantly to reduce the peak demand and the power charges of the lakshadweep for the consumer as well as to the government so as you know the isolation of uh, this island how you what you find uh, the challenges regarding the power sector like yeah uh, as an isolation i think this really uh, challenging to maintain the power for 24 hours and generating and distributing within this island uh, it's really challenge and i am appreciating the power department they are doing very good job and i also learned that uh, through their good measures they have reduced their losses they have also reduced their peak demand by through led lamp measures okay. so uh, it's appreciating that the department is already doing good things and there is a lot of other scope also to do further more okay. sir uh, now presently most of the energy production is done by diesel generation so what are the additional uh, we must be appreciating the central government is prom- nowadays promoting more solar power plants and uh, solar energy to be introduced in the house housing level so what your take on that how how that project is going actually we are dependent uh, completely on diesel for power uh, power requirements uh, except uh, for a small capacity solar plant here at kavarathi and agathi but uh, department is uh, trying to push uh, solar power plants and other renewable energy sources and we are uh, planning for uh, floating solar plants also in lagoons so because our land is very scarce here you know that and uh, lagoon is plenty available by utilizing one or two percentage of the lagoon area available i think we can tap uh, solar plant to meet our requirements and uh, government of india is also pushing uh, the solar rooftop solar pl- power plants okay. uh, so that uh, each household can generate his own power if excess is there that can be sold to the grid and uh, that can be utilized by the some other consumers and uh, government of india is giving uh, subsidy from 85800 uh, rupees uh, from central government and in addition to that the leisure department administration is also giving 1 lakh 17000 rupees as a subsidy this is a highest subsidy in, in the country okay. so i actually our gal the people sir our leisure deep consumers to come forward and install solar power plant because uh, here uh, electricity is it is very costly i think we are uh, using one of the most costlier power in the country yeah. around 48 rupees electricity department is spending to deliver one unit of power to the consumer so every consumer should uh, take this opportunity uh, maybe it may not be subsidy may not be available for so long so every consumer should uh, come forward and utilize uh, this opportunity to install solar power plant so that he can be independent he can he can proudly say that he is generating his own power he is not dependent dependent on someone that will uh, help the nation also to build the nation that is my opinion department is also from our side trying to push solar power plants uh, floating solar power plants uh, some meager capacity land based we are also trying to install rooftop solar power plant in all the government buildings also that are the measures and uh, wind electric electricity tapping has also is being explored let us see how this all comes sir final one uh, future is question like uh, as uh, sir mentioned like uh, apart from uh, solar do we have any expert study that we can create uh, we can introduce windmill in lakshadweep and uh, we can also generate uh, electricity by waves from the sea yes so again i think uh, it's a very good question we are discussing on the same topic there is a good potential for the wind also particularly offshore wind so there is a further studies are required earlier there was some studies has been happened and uh, uh, i think that that would not materialize but now i think the fresh studies are required which will identify the future potential particularly in offshore wind 
and uh, offshore or floating solar uh, that is also one thing so these are the new areas where i think uh, lakshadweep can work and uh, they can uh, meet their energy demand through renewable energy sources i lastly also appeal to the uh, consumers of the lakshadweep as he is saying the power cost is significantly higher means the highest in the country so all these consumers also need to be have more uh, uh, responsible they should be use the power in a very responsible manner and they should need a lot of behavioral changes so that will also help department to reduce the demand and uh, develop a culture towards uh, meeting the our uh, uh, goals for the mission life which is being announced by our honorable pm okay sir thank you thank you talking to dudarshan thank you, thank you.